Welcome, mothers and fathers of the flame. You who nourish life by keeping the flame. I bid you enter into the heart of the Earth Mother and the abundance of her consciousness. Come with me now and feel what it means to be responsible for evolutions almost without number who daily require compassion, the flow of love, physical nourishment, hope, encouragement. Some of you have thought of Terra as the body of the Earth Mother, and truly, elemental life lives within the body consciousness that is the habitation of Virgo and Pallur. This is our force field for the proving of the laws of God. And yet, as ascended beings, we have also an earth body that has already been made permanent in the heavens as the permanent atom of our being. That portion of our consciousness which does coalesce in these dimensions of time and space for the grace of evolving mankind is the gift of the Father, Mother, God which we do in soul. And it is our responsibility then to preserve with the other members of hierarchy and the forces of nature a platform, a place where mankind and elemental hosts may learn cooperation through the Holy Spirit and come into union by that sacred covenant made in the beginning to serve life, to expand life, and thereby to increase the dimensions of God's consciousness and his awareness of self. We come this day to anchor through you in the earth plane certain spirals that will be for the fulfillment of certain actions of karma that are now upon mankind. The cycles of the return of karma in the dark cycle do intensify in this hour. And even those who are our best servants feel the increased weight of a planet that is indeed groaning and travailing in birth, waiting to give birth to the divine man-child, to the Christ that is the Logos, the Logos that is released through the converging of spirals in the very center of the atom. As you gaze upon the center of this system of worlds, upon the sun, you see there the very first elements that take form in the descent of energy from spirit to matter. You see helium, and the gases that compose the sun in a constant state of motion as these energies cycle and recycle from spirit to matter. This is life. This is the source of energy that sustains life on this world and others, all connected to the hub, the very center of the Father, Mother, God. 
Thus there is an ebb and a flow, a release of light from Helios and Vesta to the four beings of the elements, guarding Terra, and to every elemental, all are nourished and sustained by the cycling and recycling of energies from the sun. Therefore, consider then that mankind now are beginning to go to the sun as the source of energy. And indeed, it can provide all that is required for the sustaining of life, for heat and light and fuel. And so there comes a time when mankind will not be forced to tear up the earth to war with one another over resources. For by the elevation of consciousness to the level of the Christ mind, all will draw forth the energy of the sun that is limitless because it comes from the heart of the one God. As Ikhanaten showed forth the rays of the sun as the hands of God, extending grace and blessing to mankind, so it is true that every ray of the sun delivers a message and a cup of light to you. The energies then that are available to mankind at every level of consciousness through meditation upon the center source are enough to support all evolutions assigned to this planet, the avatars waiting to be born. They are sufficient to draw elemental life into the phase of the resurrection spiral these are sufficient to solve every crisis of energy, every ego crisis, every crisis of the nations. For after all, why do mankind war if it is not over? The possession of things, the domination of the earth, rather than the dominion of self and the earth. The earth indeed belongs to man, to Christed man. Christed man belongs to the earth, and yet he transcends that earth, and by his attainment draws this entire plane into a new dimension of consciousness. Ascending the spiral of the pyramid then, even Terra, shall one day know the victory of the light and the ascension of all of her evolutions if mankind in this hour of decision cease from warring with one another and join in the glorious fight of the liberation of life and the release of life into thought waves and mantras of the Holy Spirit. We come for the merging of our consciousness with your own. We come for the meshing of our heart flames with your own. We come to restore sanity and balance to all who will receive it, to all who are determined to make the way of God their way. The weight then of karmic cycles is born hand in hand by mankind and elementals. I would then that you would keep the vigil in this focus of violet flame to the elementals, of sealing them in the ovoid of God's consciousness. During this conclave, I would that you would give a more than ordinary release of energy for the balance of cosmic forces. For you see, precious hearts, when these forces are not in balance, all mankind suffer, but especially the sensitive, the children of the light, 
and the imbalance of nature is reflected in the imbalance of the mind, in the imbalance of the emotions. And we find then that children of the light are not able to continue to press on and to be overcomers, for they cannot bear the division that that energy brings about. Have compassion then for mankind, but have compassion also for yourselves. The earth must be cleansed, it must be purified, and you must be purified to become magnets, to attract the forces of the Holy Spirit that will resolve the problems of ecology and all of the pollution of the sacred realm of the air, of the earth and of the water. And in God's name I say, let the fiery salamanders go free. Let them be free to consume the rubbish and all that must be returned to the great central sun. Electrons desiring to be free need the blessing of the fiery salamanders. Let them then be employed, for the other three kingdoms cannot perform their service if there is not the use of the fire elemental for the purposes of consuming all that that is no longer useful. The recycling process is acceptable where it is feasible. But to allow substance to decay and to rot, to pollute the earth and the water that ought to be burned is not in keeping with the plan of God for the balance of cosmic forces. To inter the body of mankind, the physical bodies, after the change called death is also not in keeping with the law of God. Cremation is the only way that substance can be returned to the heart of God, and this is the function of fire at the physical level, even as it is the function of the sacred fire on all planes to purify and consume. The earth is polluted enough. Why then continue the pollution? By piling up more and more, of that substance which belongs in the flame. I say then, you ought to decree for a change in consciousness, for a clarity and for a vision, for as you have seen and as you will see at the world's fair, mankind have not yet caught the spark of the flame of the Mother and of the Holy Spirit in nature as these energies weave a spiral to resolve all crisis. The problems are presented. They are supposedly resolved by the state or by mankind's ingenuity. But the solution to the problem is always with the Holy Spirit and with communion with that spirit. And then all designs and all plans, all engineering comes forth scientifically as the science of the Divine Mother. And so I ask that you call forth from the heart of Cyclopeia, God vision for elemental life, God vision for mankind serving with them. For without vision, the people will perish. Without vision, the elementals will perish, and there will cease to be a platform for evolution. Simultaneously with the revelation of all that is not of the light, we also release the glory, the plaudits, the gratitude for all that has been released and all that has been done for the victory. And thus heaven holds the balance of retaining hope for all who yet occupy place on terra. Hope is in the hearts of the angels. Hope increases now in the hearts of the elementals as you gather for the victory of freedom. 
I come then in the flaming glory of a light of ten thousand suns. I come welcoming the avatars, welcoming fathers and mothers of the flame, sons and daughters and children. I welcome all. I give you my love and the love of Virgo that is also mine to give, mine to receive, yet all is God's. And we too live and move and have our being in the plane of spirit earth as we cycle those energies for the fulfillment and the victory of every earth atom of every earth electron. Think on this, that as we speak, as we serve, and as we love, we are at every hour aware of the call, the consciousness, and the need of every elemental, every molecule, every cell, every electron, Every blade of grass and tree and bird that sings is held within the immaculate conception of our heart's devotion to truth and to the abundant life. I am your earth mother. Call to me for the salvation of the very soil, of the very rocks, of your crops, and of the balance. And I too will go before those councils and those committees and the Congress itself to make right the devastation, the selling of our food, the food that belongs to the sons and daughters of flame in America, to all others who have no right to that food. When there is plenty, the food is for distribution to every nation. When there is not enough, then that food must be garnered first for those who are of the light. I say, it is not cosmic justice that the grain of America should be sold to those who deny God, who profiteer, who make the coin of the realm, and take from the elementals that which they have consecrated for the service of sons and daughters of God. I say then all imbalances must be corrected in government, in the economy, and in elemental life. See then that you invoke balance, for I will be the presence of that balance and you will be surprised to see how Virgo and Pelour will work the miracle of life for the sustaining of life if you will but make the call. The calls are needed, for that is the law of octaves. Set yourselves then, your hearts and your minds, to communion with the beings of the elements and know that we stand to defend the Christ, to defend the age, and to defend the opportunity to be the community of the Holy Spirit. I am, we are, one in the flame of the Father, Mother God, within your heart, within the heart of Helios and Vesta, and within the heart of the earth. The great white brotherhood saluteth thee in the flame.